What if? What if? What if? What if? Hey, glory to God. What if I'm right and you are wrong? What if, my friend? What if everything the Bible say is true? And, and everything the Bible say, glory to God, is going to happen to you. What if? Hallelujah. There is a heaven and there's a hell. What if? There's a God. And the God of the Bible is a God going to appear. The Bible says every eye shall see him, even they that pierced him on the side. What if you wake up in hell? What if, my friend, hey, go to God, this coronavirus is to tell us that a judgment is coming and it's a preview of what's going to be viewed upon the earth. What if it's going to be a tribulation, hey, glory to God, and everything that's going to be revealing that revelation speak about is going to come to pass. What if? Hey, glory to God, everything, glory to God, you heard about God. And then you found out when you heard, when you hear it, it was true. But your flesh make you procrastinate of choosing the right God. What if your daddy tell you about there's a heaven and there's a hell, and all of a sudden you say you laugh at your daddy, just like just like Lot. Lot had two son-in-law. He go to God, and the Bible say he went to his son-in-law, and it seemed to one as mockery. He go to God, but what happened? What happened, my friend? It rained on Sodom and Gomorrah. What if Noah? No one's preaching, my friend. The Bible says he preached for 120 20, 20 days upon the earth, saying that it's going to rain. It's going to rain. They said, go ahead, sit down, you old man. There ain't going to be no rain. Hey, glory to God. But when they saw one drop of rain, the Bible say the ark was closed. Hallelujah. And the Bible say he was on the eighth soul, got saved, and the earth was flooded. Hey, glory to God. But God made a promise, and a promise is not LGBTQ. The promise is I will not destroy this earth by water, but by fire. Fire, fire, fire. Hallelujah. Fire, fire, fire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What if? In Revelation, hallelujah, the Bible said in, in Matthew, the 25th chapter, the Bible talk about the five foolish virgins. And the reason why they're foolish is because they had a lamp and they had oil for a moment. And the bridegroom cry out and they looked around to check their Holy Ghost and the oil was not in their lamp. And the Bible said, the wise went in and meet the bridegroom. But before that happened, he, the, 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 the foolish virgin said, give me some of your oil. But the wise said, we don't have enough for you. Go out rather to them that buy and buy some and come back and meet the bridegroom. And the Bible said, the wise went in and meet the bridegroom. We are the bride. And God prepare us. He gives every tool, every instrument, glory to God, to, be, to appear to be a beautiful, glory to God, bride for the bridegroom. Jesus Christ is the bridegroom. What if? And the Bible say, glory to God, no foolish virgin came back. And Jesus Christ said, I, I knew you not. Hallelujah. And they got left behind. What if? Hallelujah, glory to God. All your life on earth, you played around. You let people use their opinion on you. You let your pastor dupe you. And now you are left behind into a place that's torment and torture for eternity. What if the Bible that we read, we have in the palm of our hand is so true. And the Bible says, appointed man wants to die, then the judgment. The Bible is so true. The Bible says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible is so true. 
Hallelujah. The Bible says there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. The Bible is so truth. The Bible says, glory to God, righteousness exalts a nation, but a sin is reproached to any people. The Bible is so true. The Bible says, boast not for tomorrow, because we know not what tomorrow may be. The Bible is so true. Hallelujah, glory to God. He said, yea, thou walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I feel no evil, for thou with me, thy rod and staff that cover me, thou prepares a table for me, in the presence of my enemy. What if? My friend, I'm telling you. What if? There's a way, my friend. Jesus Christ said, I am the way. I am the truth. No man can come through me. You got to come through me for first before you get to the Father. The Bible said, everyone, everyone that came before me are like a thief and a robber because I am the door. They know other, there's no many paths to God. There's only one way, and the one way is holiness, not mess. Not living in mess. Not living as an LGBTQ or queer or transgender what if the life you live determine your destiny hallelujah what if while you was in a funeral sermon going on you better get up and go to the altar and change your life but you remember and you change your mind and now you're in an eternal place called hell because you let sex, you let secularism, you let Satan change your mind about the Savior. And the Savior come to seek and to save that which is lost. What if? What I'm saying is so right. Hallelujah. Hey man, look at look at the way look at the way the condition of the world is. The coronavirus can know. I don't care what kind of va vaccine they have for you and me. What if the vaccine you take it and it and it kill you just like that? What if, my friend, the God of the universe is giving you so many opportunity? For you to turn from your wicked ways and come to him because he's no what ways cast out he will he would not he would not forsake you but he would always be with you do you remember the accident you had car was total and you walk away with a scratch hallelujah what if what if my friend that's all i'm saying to you what if the God of the universe is showing compassion on you and you are blown it every second, every minute, every hour. You are blown it. You are blown it. You live in a reckless life. All the sex in the world, all the drinking in the world, all the smoking weed in the world. What if you lay down tonight, then wake up in hell? What if?